the city. Back over to you guys. All right, thank you so much, Marissa T. It is 720, still ahead a 9-11 ride to remember. This morning, hundreds of firefighters are traveling from Ground Zero and headed to New Jersey to honor the brave men and women who sacrificed their lives that day. We'll bring you their story just ahead. Also, the heartwarming reason an entire football team the gave a story in Rockland County where two teenage boys were hit by a car. An update straight ahead. Lisa Mateo is live with a tribute to the first responders and what they lost on 9-11. Lisa. And to cut you, we're here at Marine One FDNY, and this is one of the fireboats, Fireboat 343, and this is going to transport a number of firefighters who will be taking the next leg of their journey to honor their fallen brothers who they lost on 9-11. We'll hear from them coming up in a live report. The most important thing was I spoke to John the next day. He was alive. He says, it, uh, you know, and, well, Scott, it doesn't matter. I'm doing just fine. Right. You know, so that's the most important thing. All right. Speaking about the most important thing, we're, of course, playing our tributes uh, to 9-11. And a group of firefighters have begun their annual 343-mile bicycle ride to honor the members of the FDNY who perished in the World Trade Center on September 11th. That's right. Yesterday, they began the first leg of their tour mm -hmm. from Montauk to Ground Zero. The this morning, they're at Pier 53, ready to board a special boat, which will take them to the next portion of their journey. Fix 11's Lisa Mateo is live. She's right there with more. Hi, Lisa. Good morning, guys. And we have a number of the firefighters here who will be taking that ride again. They went again yesterday from Montauk to Ground Zero. Today, they're taking the next leg of that tour. And this is the boat that's going to be taking there. It's a very special and very fitting for this occasion. It's Fireboat 343. And, of course, that represents the number of firefighters who perished on 9-11. And that's going to be taking them over to New Jersey for the next leg of their tour. And it's a very special boat. A number of the nameplates there uh, were made with steel from the World Trade Center. All right, they're going to be taking these firefighters here, a number of them, to their next leg and this is captain michael alexander so thank you for coming out this morning first of all i know that sure now yesterday you guys went from montauk to ground zero mm -hmm. we have a couple pictures of those too but uh tell us exactly about why this uh ride started and where the money goes and and who it represents well lisa the ride started in a firehouse kitchen table uh, about five years ago and we just decided to ride a mile for every five minute we lost on 9-11 it's kind of symbolic uh, just to honor their memory and uh we've decided to do some fundraising along the way and it just took off. So uh, it's a meaningful event every year for us. And you've raised a significant amount of money. Yeah, I think this year we've probably uh, exceeded $500,000 that we've raised, uh, you know, through the, through the uh, efforts of the ride. And where is the money going toward? We just, uh, not really word of mouth, but we just give it directly to veterans. So when we come back from the ride, uh, we find guys that need help, and uh, we give the money directly to them, whether it's uh, physical therapy or living expenses or anything like that. We give the money right to them. That's an excellent question cause that you guys are doing that yesterday you had a ceremony last night mm -hmm. at ground zero um we have some video of that too a very emotional time what was going through your mind last night at that ceremony uh i don't know i, I guess you just feel like you're doing something a little bit positive uh, uh because of 9 11 i think when 9 11 happened a lot of us thought it was going to be a rescue effort and it was pretty obvious that uh it turned into a recovery effort uh very very soon so uh at least we're doing something where we're honoring those guys memory because they uh they made a supreme sacrifice and uh you know, when we say we don't forget, we don't forget. So we're happy to do this every year. Now, today you're going to be taking uh, Fireboat 343, mm -hmm. heading across to New Jersey. Where to from there? Uh, today we go from uh, Elizabeth, New Jersey to Toms River. And uh, we stay in Toms River overnight. And then tomorrow we end up in Delaware. In Delaware. And then from there, uh, it's going to be an emotional time. What goes through your mind as you're riding and you're taking that long trek? Uh, you know, we joke around a lot. Uh, but, it, you know, some course during the day, stories come up of guys we lost. And it's just a week where we just remember what they were about and what they did. So it's, uh, it's a good week. Yeah, and I have to also show the back of the jerseys as well. This is just incredible. Um, I know you have the 343 as well. Yeah. Tell me if you can turn around for me and show me that as well. I mean, that is just beautiful in itself. Describe it, the names right down to the 343. Uh, well, we just, uh, the 343 is significant. Obviously, that's the number of firefighters that we lost. And uh, within the numbers, one of the guys had a great idea. We just had all the names inscribed in the 343. So just a symbol, you know, another way to uh, honor their memory. I love it. Captain Michael, thank you so much for, for coming out this morning. Of course, they're going to be heading on the boat, heading over to New Jersey. We're going to stay here, talk with a couple of them before they set sail. So stick around for that. That's coming up in the next hour. We'll send it back to you guys. Just an inspiring story. And once yeah. again, showing really the true brotherhood, you know, was inspired as, you know, it, in the firehouse over the table that they all congregate yeah. and talk about things that are important to them and just uh 
just tells you why the FDNY is just an amazing bunch of men, an incredible bunch of men. Um, we really do invite you this Sunday morning to join myself and Scott at 7 a.m. for a special edition of the Pix 11 Morning News to mark the 15 years since 9-11. Yeah, join us as we remember the lives lost and the sacrifices that were made. We're going to bring you the annual reading of the names, of course, and the ceremony from Ground Zero. All right, 740 is still a hack. Um, but I heard they have a great morning show. Yeah, in Cleveland? Yeah, isn't that where Greg Easter? <laughs> I heard it's hot in Cleveland. <laughs> oh, that's Chicago, I think. All right, still ahead, Lisa Mateo's live with the annual tribute ride to honor the hundreds of firefighters killed on September 11th. Good morning, Lisa. Good morning, and we are here at Marine One FDNY, and this is Fireboat 343, and aboard that, a number of firefighters will be joining the next leg of their journey. It's a bicycle ride to remember those who perished on 9-11. Their brothers will have more on that coming up in a live report. This year, public schools will be rolling out a slew of new initiatives that include an increased use of guidance counselors and college visits for students. It's one of the annual tributes to the victims of September 11th attack. Of course, last night was the test run for the tribute and lights. The annual installation illuminates the New York City sky just south of the memorial site. 8.36 now, a group of firefighters have begun their annual 343-mile bicycle ride to honor the members of the FDNY who perished in the World Trade Center on September 11th. Yeah, yesterday they began the first leg of the tour from Montauk to Ground Zero this morning. They boarded a very special boat that will take them to the next portion of their journey. Pix Love's Lisa Mateo was there before they set sail. She joins us live this morning with their story. And Lisa, it was wonderful to hear from Captain Michael. He was basically talking about how it started in the firehouse over the table where they, you know, they all, you know, hang out and talk about things that are important to them. Exactly, and that's how these ideas normally start, just from an idea and a conversation, and that's how it did start. Now we're here, this is Marine One FDNY, and they just left right now. I don't know if you can see off in the distance there. They are on that boat, that is Fireboat 343, and that's a very special boat, kind of momentous for this occasion. It's named after the 343 firefighters that died on 9-11. I mean, parts of it, the nameplates on that boat from the front and from the rear have been made from steel from the World Trade Center. Now on that boat, are the are the firefighters who are taking part in this ride and they started yesterday we have a few pictures from that that's the ride FDNY 343 ride they went from Montauk to ground zero and that took place yesterday um, and it's a usual ride that takes place and for their tenure they went all the way to the Pentagon now this year for the 15 year they're going from Montauk and they're going all the way to Arlington Cemetery so this boat is going to take them over to New Jersey where they will begin that next leg of their journey there was also a ceremony last night that we do a video of as well and it was an emotional time for many of them as it reflected on what happened on 9-11 and those who they lost and that was last night now today they are on that boat making their way across across to their next leg of that journey i spoke with a few of them who described to me how this all started and a few of them who it's a very special moment for it was an idea from captain mike alexander from 50 engine to ride a mile a man um, from montauk down to the pentagon and um the group came together, it was a small, you know, grassroots organization, and it, was just, and it was just to help soldiers. This is definitely a personal thing for me. Losing my brother in the Trade Center um, was, was a big deal. And afterwards, I was, I was never a big, you know, go down to the Trade Center and, and be part of that whole big ceremony thing. I wanted to spend time with my family. And I was really looking for something to, to honor my brother with. And um, I got hurt in a fire after 9-11. Uh, hurt my knee really bad, couldn't run anymore. And the, by chance, the doctor told me, you should take up cycling. Not two weeks after hearing that, I heard about this uh, event going on, and it was it was a sign. It was this is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to be on this ride for your brother. It's a way for us to remember the 343 members we lost. But uh, in addition to that, it's a way to help the uh, the veterans who stepped in after 9/11 and kind of took the ball from us and um, and took the fight overseas. So there you go. They are kicking that right over. So, yes, the money donated, which is more than $400 million, that is going, of course, to the wounded soldiers, a number of organizations to help them. Now, right now, that fireboat continuing to go across New Jersey. They will stop by the World Trade Center and drop a wreath into the water, of course, representing and remembering those who lost their lives. If you would like to donate to the cause, just log on to Bigflip.com, click on that morning news tab for more information. We're live here on the west side. Lisa Mateo, 
Pix 11 News, and back to you. Beautiful work by you and your photographer, Tony. Uh, you know, behind you, of course, is the Freedom Tower. Yeah. And, you know, it's a, it's a beautiful shot and a reminder of how far we have come uh, 15 years later as a city, as a country, as a, as a people, as Americans. So, Scott and I really want to invite you to join us Sunday morning as the whole crew here in Pix 11 Morning News. Uh, we're going to have a special edition yeah. of the Pix 11 Morning News to mark 15 years since 9-11. Yeah, we want you to join us as we remember the lives lost and the sacrifices, of course, that were made. We're going to bring you the annual reading of the names and the ceremony from Ground Zero. All right, uh, it is 8.40, two months after announcing she's...